Hey guys, so this is going to be a big one as we'll be looking at Tara Chanda. It's taken me a while, this why, this is why it's quite delayed. She's girlfriend to Alicia and Denise, sister to Lily, aunt to Megan, and daughter to David Chalmer. And our first gay character in the universe in The Walking Dead. Dinner wife, what say? Tara is of course female, she's played by Alana Matteson. Before the outbreak, she was in the police academy. After the outbreak, she became a runner for Alexandria and eventually rose to be the leader of the Hilltop. Tara is in her early mid-30s and first appeared in Life Bait. Before the outbreak, Tara was training in the police academy and she, she had a girlfriend named Alex, but still remained close to her sister, father and niece. When the outbreak began, Tara was picked up by her family. They held up in an apartment complex for the outbreak. Tara, not knowing that you have to destroy the brain of the zombies. In season 4, Tara is seen with her family when they meet the governor. She cries as David gets sick and dies and is nearly bitten by him, and but she's saved by the old governor. The group head off to find a safer place to live and are swarmed by walkers. Tara twists her leg and her and Lily make it to Martinez's camp, where Megan and the governor are safe. Tara flirts and starts a relationship with Alicia. They go on to le they go to leave but end up staying when the road is blocked off. Tara stands guard when the governor makes his stand against the prison. She watches Herschel's death and refuses to fight. Later, when Daryl chucks a grenade, she walks away from the fighting due to the blast. Tara watches her sister be eaten by zombies and is found by Glenn as she cowers. Glenn convinces her to come with with them and the two escape. On the road, Glenn collapses and Tara meets Abe, Rosita, and Eugene. Tara rides in Abe's truck, n n nothing, no, sorry, noting down how far they are from the bus. Glenn stops the truck. She watches Abe and Glenn fight and then helps kill the zombies. The group set off after the truck is destroyed. Tara sneaks a peek of Rosita and eventually they hit a tunnel and Glenn and Tara leave Abe. In the tunnel, Tara gets stuck and Glenn tries to save her when Abe's group, Bob, Maggie and Sasha, save them both. They decide to go to Terminus and they're imprisoned. Eventually, she sees Rick, Daryl, Carl and Michonne be added to the train cart. In Season 5, Tara makes a weapon. Rick soon comes out and frees them and she helps escape. Rick forgives Tara for being a part of the governor's army. They rescue Gabriel and go to the church. Tara tells Maggie about the governor and she forgives Tara too. Tara hears Gabe's story, helps lift Bob to the church. Abe wants to leave, so Tara agrees to go with Abe's group along with Glenn and Maggie. She's in the bush crash. She helps Eugene kill zombies. Tara joins Eugene watching Rosita and Abe having sex and learns he sabotaged the bus. Later, she hears Eugene reveal he lied about the cure. She names their group Graham and finds a yo-yo. Tara arrives back at the church and watches as a dead Beth is carried out at the hospital. She then walks on the road, eats dogs, celebrates rain, and defends the barn with the others. Tara soon heads to Alexandria with the others and is made a runner. Tara is nearly bitten because Aiden is dumb and Glenn gets mad. Tara goes on the warehouse mission, it goes wrong and Aiden shoots a grenade, and of course this knocks Tara out. But it's cool because Eugene saves her. She then wakes up later on to the sight of a beautiful Rosita. In Season 6, Tara sees an injured Glenn and Nick Nicholas and is happy to see Eugene again. She also learns about Noah's death. Tara asks to exile Nicholas, but Maggie claims Glenn saves people, and it's not her place to say. Tara meets Denise with a headache and gets to know her. When the wolves attack, Tara helps with an injured Holly, but it doesn't work out and she dies. Tara hears Rick's speech and then helps Denise with Scott, and they talk on the porch where Denise kisses Tara, starting their relationship. Tara notices Spencer on a zip line. She helps him out and Rick gets mad because of this. So Tara flips him, up, flips him off. Tara watches the tower. Wall, uh, a tower falls down and knocks down the walls. She helps my man Tobin. Flees with Rosita and Eugene. They find a way out. And then they find the wolf with Denise. And, that he, and he takes a hostage. Eventually, when she learns... Denise is safe, she joins the rest of the community in fighting back the herd. She later helps with a knocked out Jesus. Tara then hears a familiar line from Rick in the church and says goodbye to Denise. She helps murder the saviors and after leaves with Heath on a supply mission. And in season 7, Tara gets her own episode. Hooray! Fucking hell, it's so bad. So Tara and Heath 
With their RV, are running low on food and arrive on a bridge. They get overrun by zombies and Tara falls into the river. She washes up on a beach and is found by Rachel and Sydney. Sydney leaves her some food and water, but Tara is awake and follows her into the woods, seeing the ocean side. She is shot at and she flees. She's knocked out. She knocks out a woman, but is captured by the rest and taken inside the community by Natanya. Tara makes up some bullshit to Natanya, and they eat. And Natanya obviously calls her out for it and offers. For her to live in the community with Heath and not go back to hers. She refuses and Natanya lies herself saying that they can interact. Uh, but that's obviously a lie. And Kathy and Patrice take Tara out to try and kill her. But Tara kind of figures it out. And eventually she learns from Patrice that the saviors killed all the men. Sydney comes and stops Patrice. And Tara runs and makes it to the bridge. Sydney then comes, catches up with her and helps her escape. Uh, she thinks she sees a zombie Heath, but it's not him. She then finds the RV's tracks and a PPP sign, but no Heath. Where's Heath? He was captured by those boys who took Rick. Tara finds some sunglasses and a bobblehead and heads back to Alexandria to learn about Denise's death. Tara watches Spencer play pool with Negan and watches him die. When Negan wants to know uh, who made the bullet, Tara steps forward, but Eugene tells the truth. Tara is present when the group tries to convince Gregory to join. She then goes to the kingdom and helps take some dynamite. And then she goes to the junk junkyard with the others looking for Gabe. Uh, she then fights off the junkyard folk and eventually leaves with with Rick when he brokers a deal. Tara keeps the Oceanside secret even though the group needs guns. But eventually... Uh, after they bring the guns to the junkyard and it's not enough, she tells Rick the truth. The group head to the ocean side, they make a bomb, Tara holds up Sydney and Natanya. They take Tara's gun, but it turns out it's empty. Tara ta is taken hostage by Natanya, but then Natanya is knocked out by Sydney. Tara sees Dwight and goes mad wanting to kill him, uh, wanting Daryl to kill him anyway, but Rick stops them and with Dwight and all that. And Later when Negan arrives, Tara is kept hostage by the scavengers. When obviously the, savior, the survivors rebel against the saviors and the scavengers, Tara helps killing them. When Rosita is shot, Tara helps her and then she attends uh, the speeches and also Sasha's funeral. In season 8, Tara times a zombie herd, watches some saviors go boom, and then goes to the satellite station. Tara helps kill some saviors. She lures, she and Jesus find Dean. She, he takes G, Jesus hostage, and Tara wants to kill him, but Jesus doesn't. Tara claims that Rick will agree with her, and they take the surrendering saviors to the hilltop. They discuss the fate of the hostages, and Tara meets with Daryl. They discuss killing Dwight, and helps he helps she helps Daryl take out Zia and her magical musical truck. Tara, Michonne, Daryl and Rosita discuss their plan to attack the outpost. Rosita, Michonne obviously opt out, but Tara helps Daryl open up the sanctuary to zombies. Tara then helps ki kill Negan's man and leaves for the hilltop when they're attacked. She chases Dwight, trying to kill him. He flees, and then but she allows him to go with the saviors. Daryl rages at Tara, but she argues he's props not that Prob's not going to betray them. Simon then, later on in, during the Battle of the Hilltop, Simon spots Tara and goes to kill her, but Dwight shoots Tara with an arrow. She is fearful she is going to die like the rest of them, but it turns out Dwight didn't infect the arrow. And then in the finale, Tara leads the Hilltop away and watches as the Oceanside help firebomb Negan's men. Later then, she helps rebuild the Sanctuary. And in Season 9, Tara scouts and radios Eugene, helps out with the museum mission, and helps with the bridge. Later, she appears in Rick's hallucinations. She watches Rick's supposed death too. After this went down and all the communities split, Tara stole the charter from Michonne and joined the hilltop. Nine years later, Tara asks Jesus about Maggie, encourages him to lead, and assists with, and assists with an injured Rosita. She then greets Carol and Daryl. Tara coldly meets, greets Michonne and allows Magna's group to stay the night. She arranges a search party and is sad to find about Jesus' death. Tara and Maggie lead a search party for Aiden and Luke and allows Magna's group to stay, becoming the de facto leader of the hilltop. She then sees the Whisperers arrive and allows Daryl to deal with it. Tara and Magna's group clear the road but and are helped by the highwaymen when it gets a bit troublesome. At the kingdom, Tara greets Zeke and Carol. Tara listens to Zeke's speech, signs the charter with the other leaders. Tara is reassured by Gabriel, she'll be a good leader, and then she's captured by Alta, by Alpha. In the barn, Tara fights like hell with the others, but it isn't enough, and Alpha does this to Tara. Brutally beheaded, Tara is later put down by either Carol, Daryl, Yumiko, Sadiq, or Michonne. Tara is probably my least favourite character, if I'm being honest, and it's weird because this is the longest video I've done on a Walking Dead character. But 
I just found it so corny, so annoying, and a standalone, standalone episode was so terrible. But that being said, it was interesting that this once foe of the group grew to be one of their strongest allies. She grew to be a fighter and lost a lot of girlfriends in the process. Tara had been in the show for a while and her death was shocking. It was a shocking reveal to me. The biggest character that had been in the show the longest that Alpha had killed. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me your thoughts on Tara. Not really got much more to say about her because this video is already too long. Anyway, goodbye.